I just found a little adjustment to use while binding off hats on the Addy Knitting Machine that I think makes it faster and a little bit easier. Some of you may agree with me and you might want to have a look. Here it is. Also in the video I accidentally drop a stitch so you get a bonus demo of me fixing the dropped column of stitches. I have just discovered a little bit of an easier way to do the bind off on my Addy Express King Size. Instead of picking these up one at a time as, the, as I crank around using a curved needle, I've got a straight needle, which I have more of, and I'm going to very slowly go several times. Now, all of these stitches are still sitting neatly on their little hooks, but since they've knitted through the needles, I should be able to pick them up. I'm a right-handed person and I'm working left-handed or I was to try to stay out of the way of the camera so excuse my clumsiness so you can see even using my wrong hand it is fairly quick Now I'm ready to go a few more around. See the stitch sitting there? Pop. 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 Now as you saw from my first fumbling with the first few stitches, it's very easy to drop a stitch in this position. So keep your movements small and don't pull up on the fabric. That seems to be the trick. I was using two strands of DK weight yarn, so I've got to pick up both strands, one's red and one's green. This is just a small adaptation for the Addy Express. Not a big deal, but I'm always looking for ways to make my work more efficient and less aggravating, so this helps. One reason that I'm concerned about speed is that I knit 100 hats a year for the Country Knitting of Maine Keeping Maine Warm hat charity. And at 100 a year for people that I don't know who are in desperate need, I'm more concerned about a lot of warm hats than fancy details. I dropped one. What do you do if you do that? Let me go get a latch tool and I'll show you. Probably you're perfect and you never will drop a stitch. I, on the other hand, do from time to time. Pick up the last true stitch on your latch tool or crochet hook and then relatch the rungs. Of course, in this case, I'm going to go two at a time because I have two strands at a time. Now that column of stitches is just fine and all that remains is for me to catch this top loop. Since I'm gathering in the crown, it's not going to make any difference and no one will ever see it. I, I need to put something in it so as to be able to draw in the crown and then I can catch it with my same gathering thread. Once I pull this all in, knot it and tuck the um, tie off the gathering thread and tuck it in no one will ever know my misdeeds okay I couldn't really knot it with you watching because I twist and turn my fabric too much but here it is all finished and as you can see I can't even find where the drop stitch was so there's no need to stress out if you miss one as long as it's not more than one in a row you just relatch them and tie them off Perhaps one of these ideas will help you with your hats. Happy knitting, and bye now.